Chapter 28 Your brother Aaron and his sons Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar will be set apart from the common people. They will be my priests and will minister to me. Make special clothing for Aaron to show his separation to God, beautiful garments that will lend dignity to his work. Instruct all those who have special skills as tailors to make the garments that will set Aaron apart from everyone else, so he may serve me as a priest. They are to make a chest piece, an ephod, a robe, an embroidered tunic, a turban, and a sash. They will also make special garments for Aaron's sons to wear when they serve as priests before me. These items must be made of fine linen cloth and embroidered with gold thread and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. The ephod must be made of fine linen cloth and skillfully embroidered with gold thread and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. It will consist of two pieces, front and back, joined at the shoulders with two shoulder pieces, and the sash will be made of the same materials, fine linen cloth embroidered with gold thread and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. Take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the tribes of Israel. Six names will be on each stone, naming all the tribes in the order of their ancestors' births. Engrave these names in the same way a gem cutter engraves a seal. Mount the stones in gold settings. Fasten the two stones on the shoulder pieces of the ephod as memorial stones for the people of Israel. Aaron will carry these names before the Lord as a constant reminder. The settings are to be made of gold filigree, and two cords made of pure gold will be attached to the settings on the shoulders of the ephod. Then, with the most careful workmanship, make a chest piece that will be used to determine God's will. Use the same material as you did for the ephod, fine linen cloth embroidered with gold thread and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. This chest piece will be made of two folds of cloth forming a pouch nine inches square. Four rows of gemstones will be attached to it. The first row will contain a red carnelian, a chrysolite, and an emerald. The second row will contain a turquoise, a sapphire, and a white moonstone. The third row will contain a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. The fourth row will contain a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. All these stones will be set in gold. Each stone will represent one of the tribes of Israel, and the name of that tribe will be engraved on it as though it were a seal. To attach the chest piece to the ephod, make braided cords of pure gold. Then make two gold rings and attach them to the top corners of the chest piece. The two gold cords will go through the rings on the chest piece, and the ends of the cords will be tied to the gold settings on the shoulder pieces of the ephod. Then make two more gold rings and attach them to the two lower inside corners of the chest piece next to the ephod. And make two more gold rings and attach them to the ephod near the sash. Then attach the bottom rings of the chest piece to the rings on the ephod with blue cords. This will hold the chest piece securely to the ephod above the beautiful sash. In this way, Aaron will carry the names of the tribes of Israel on the chest piece over his heart when he goes into the presence of the Lord in the holy place. Thus the Lord will be reminded of his people continually. Insert into the pocket of the chest piece the Urim and the Thummim to be carried over Aaron's heart when he goes into the Lord's presence. Thus Aaron will always carry the objects used to determine the Lord's will for his people whenever he goes in before the Lord. Make the robe of the ephod entirely of blue cloth with an opening for Aaron's head in the middle of it. The opening will be reinforced by a woven collar so it will not tear. Make pomegranates out of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and attach them to the hem of the robe with gold bells between them. The gold bells and pomegranates are to alternate all the way around the hem. Aaron will wear this robe whenever he enters the holy place to minister to the Lord, and the bells will tinkle as he goes in and out of the Lord's presence. If he wears it, he will not die. Next, make a medallion of pure gold. Using the techniques of an engraver, inscribe it with these words, Set apart as holy to the Lord. This medallion will be attached to the front of Aaron's turban by means of a blue cord. Aaron will wear it on his forehead, thus bearing the guilt connected with any errors regarding the sacred offerings of the people of Israel. He must always wear it so the Lord will accept the people. 
Weave Aaron's pattern tunic from fine linen cloth. Fashion the turban out of this linen as well. Also make him an embroidered sash. Then for Aaron's sons, make tunics, sashes, and headdresses to give them dignity and respect. Clothe Aaron and his sons with these garments, and then anoint and ordain them. Set them apart as holy, so they can serve as my priests. Also make linen underclothes for them, to be worn next to their bodies, reaching from waist to thigh. These must be worn whenever Aaron and his sons enter the tabernacle, or approach the altar in the holy place, to perform their duties. Thus they will not incur guilt and die. This law is permanent for Aaron and his descendants.